Today, I'll be looking at some of the terms involved in breeding to get clearer distinction for people to understand. Inbreeding basically means breeding close relations. Close inbreeding is actually when you breed father to daughter or son to mother. There are some traits they've seen and they want to keep it within the family. So they are using the same dogs that have those same genes to do that breeding. On some of my posts, I've written about breeding, what ethical breeders do in their breeding programs and how to breed dogs ethically. Today I'll be talking about inbreeding versus line breeding. Inbreeding basically means breeding close relations in a breeding in a pair. So you have a dog and you can breed mother to father, father to daughter and those or you can breed brother to sister or half brother to sister and all that. That's inbreeding. But there's a smaller part of inbreeding which is called close inbreeding. Close inbreeding is actually when you breed father to daughter or son to mother. That's the close inbreeding. But inbreeding generally is when you're breeding close relations that have the same blood, the same genetic pool. Now, why do people do that? They want to keep desirable traits. There are some traits they've seen and they want to keep it within the family. So they are using the same dogs that have those same genes to do that breeding. They say they do it for strengthening the genes. So the gene, the alleles in the genes manifest itself stronger. So they become very, very positive because there are certain things they are looking for uh, to achieve. So they use the dogs within their group, within their breeding stock that are related to strengthen those things. However, on the negative side, there are health problems that have emerged with inbreeding. So health problems like in a lack of immunity, infertility, weak past tense, uh, lack of reproduction. So because what happens here is that the negatives also manifest themselves when you're doing inbreeding. So when you're a breeder, you need to be careful because if you think you're only going to get the positives, you may also be manipulating the negatives and they'll be coming out more. So if the negatives are strong, they will show strongly in what you're producing. Now, on the other hand, line breeding, you're going to use dogs that are not too closely related but they are from the same line so you can use grandparents great grandparents with their grandchildren because also the same thing with inbreeding you're trying to strengthen some genetic things or some phenotype things in the dog so you're using grandparents to reproduce those things because those things have been consistent they are like genetic markers in the dog so you are now using it to reproduce so you have those desirable genetic traits that you're using you're to produce, especially if you're a person that um, you want some specific things. Let's say you want a specific look, a specific color, and you know that the alleles are dominant and positive. So you want to use it to reproduce. So you use that line. So it's that line of dogs that you use. They also, like I pointed out with inbreeding, they also have health issues because that line has may have some genetic issues some health issues that are preponderant on that line. So if you're losing using that same line, the chances again is that you may be replicating those issues. For instance, if you have hip dysplasia in that line, when you're breeding, you're going to have to be looking out for hip dysplasia because it's inheritable and it can be genetically transferred from dog to dog. So those are kind of things that you find between inbreeding and line breeding.